In this video, you are going to learn how to use YouTube analytics to grow your YouTube channel. And I'm going to walk you through the top 10 reports that you need to focus on if you want to get more views, subscribers, and likes and comments on your videos. So to access your YouTube analytics, firstly, come up and click on your channel icon in the top right hand corner, and then go ahead and click on Creator Studio. Now it's in here that you'll find your analytics reports and they are down in the left hand of the sidebar here. So you can go ahead and click on that just to open everything up. Now it's worth just taking a minute to explain how everything is laid out. So what we are seeing here is an overview report. You can see that there are graphical rep representations here of some of the YouTube reports. So these are really overview re reports and graphs of all of these uh, reports that are listed out here in the sidebar. And these are the reports that we're going to be digging into to really analyze them and understand them more. But you can come into this overview tab just to get a quick overview of the performance of your channel. It is also worth noting that by default, it will be shown for the last 28 days. So all of the reports and analytics are just shown for the last 28 days. If you do want to change that, you can click on this drop down in the top right hand corner and click and look at the analytics for the last 90 days, say, or the last 365 days. So I do think that uh, tw the last 28 days is a good time frame to be analyzing. And perhaps you should even put a date in the calendar every month to come back and review the last 28 days, maybe at the start of the month, review the last month, but you can take that longer term view if you do want to do that. Now let us dive into the 10 reports that you really want to focus on in order to understand what is working and what you can do to grow. So the first report that we want to look at is watch time. And this is a big one. This is in fact the most important metric on YouTube that you want to be constantly trying to increase. Now you can see here that it says watch time minutes. And really the explanation of this is the total number of minutes of viewing of your content from your audience. Now, why is that so important as well? And why is that really one of the top uh, reports listed out here? Well, it's very simple. YouTube wants to keep people watching videos on their platform as much as possible. Why? Because the more time people are spending watching YouTube, the more ads that they can put in front of them and the more ads that they can sell to advertisers and increase their revenues. So recently, YouTube actually changed watch time as the most important metric in determining whether they promote your channel or whether they promote your videos. So it's very important to try and increase the watch time on your channel in order for it to grow. Now, one way you can do that is to start to understand and look at this list and understand where the watch time is coming from your channel. Now I can see that 85% of the watch time on this channel is coming from this one single video. So what I could do to really understand how to increase my watch time is look at the format of this video, look at the length of this video, look at the way I've structured it, look at the topic of it, and really determine could I make more videos like that to increase my watch time. And that would be a very tangible way that I could grow my channel. Now, looking further down, I can see that there are some videos that have very small watch time. Maybe the topics are too niche, maybe the videos are too short. And so you really want to look at this report and do more of what is working. That is the simple mantra for, for an, an analytics person is just do more of what is working. And that's what you really wanna be keeping in mind. Whatever report you look at in analytics, whether it be here on YouTube, on Facebook, on Google Analytics, just really do more of what is working and you're gonna grow your channel. So that was watch time. Let us now look at the second report or metric that you wanna be focusing on in order to grow your channel. And that is traffic sources. So coming then into the left sidebar here, we can click on traffic sources. Now what we are seeing here are the sources of our traffic and you can always hover your mouse over any of these keywords here or uh, words on the analytics reports to get a better exp explanation. So really we can see here it's the means through which 
a viewer found your video. Now this is extremely important to understand if you want to grow your channel because you need to know how people are finding your videos. For this channel I can see that 55% uh, are coming through suggested videos. So that's interesting to know that I'm appearing there in the sidebar um, alongside or after other videos. And I can even dig down deeper into this as well to really figure out uh, which of those videos that I mean suggested again. So I can see and even click this open here. Hello. Oops, sorry for that. I can see that my video is showing up in the as suggested videos here beside this video. So maybe I could create more videos that are similar to this topic or are similar to other videos that this channel has made so that I could be continue to be suggested next to them. Now let's go back and really look at YouTube search. So if we click into this report again, I can have a look at some of the search terms that people are actually typing in that are resulting in people watching my video. So you, you can see a lot of them here, SEO tutorial, SEO tutorial for beginners. Those are the keywords that people are typing in to really find that top video on my channel. So once again, I could continue to make videos that uh, really allow people to, or, or make more videos really about those keywords that people are typing in and maybe even sp make them specifically about these exact keywords that people are typing in. So a ton of information there about how people are finding my videos in the traffic sources reports and a ton of actionable things that I can do uh, to really grow my channel. All right, that was number two. Let us move on now to number three, the audience demographics reports. And this is another great one. So let's come into the left sidebar here, click on demographics. We are going to get a ton of interesting information in this report and you can have a couple of different options here in terms of how you view these reports personally for me I like the pie chart I think it's just the easiest way to understand and I can see very quickly then that 46% of my viewers that are watching the videos are between this age bracket of 25 to 34 so this is very interesting to note um, I want to make sure that if my ideal customer is that age bracket, that they are in fact the people who are watching most of my videos. If they weren't and it was, say, a much older demographic, well, maybe I could say, hey, that's interesting. I could do two things. One is refocus um, my videos back towards my ideal customers. Or I could say, hey, it's pretty interesting that this age group is more interested in the topic than I thought they would be. Maybe I could create some specific videos that talk to them, that address their particular needs uh, around this particular topic or product or service, etc. Now, as well as age range, another very interesting thing to look at is gender. So you can just click across to look at the gender. And uh, again, I can see that there's a heavy skew towards males in my audience, 74%. And that's pretty spot on what I would imagine it would be, that age bracket and uh, males. Um, but again, you want to just be making sure that the gender and the age immediately matches up with who you think your ideal customer is. So the audience demographic reports, huge amount of information there again to really understand your audience and make sure that you're on target with your videos. Now, another thing that we can look at without leaving these demographic reports, and this is really the fourth metric or report you want to look at, is your geographical impact. So it, still in this demographics tab, we can come down to more. We can click on, oh, we can click on geography here. And this is a great report because it shows us really the countries of our viewers. And I can see, for example, here that 31% are coming or viewing from the US. And I can even see they're, they're, they're male as well, which is pretty interesting for me to see. Now, my ideal customer uh, would probably be in, in this country as a top one. Some businesses, they don't really care about where their viewers are coming from, but other businesses like local businesses or e-commerce businesses might be uh, paying particular attention to this because if you're an e-commerce business, you're getting a lot of viewers from, say, India, you don't ship products there, well, that will give you 
an indication, okay, maybe we should set it up so it's easy for people to, to get products shipped there. Or maybe we should even think about how can we address our products or services to the needs of those people who are viewing from that particular audience. So once again, once you delve further into these uh, ge geographic reports, you can see a whole host of information really, in including even what, co what states in the US people are viewing from. And this is actually handy even in terms of deciding what time should you post your videos. You really wanna post them so they're hitting that big audience. So usually I try and post them at actually 9 a.m. San Francisco time, and that helps me to make sure that I'm maybe posting that video when a lot of my viewers are gonna be online or uh, it's at least it's lunchtime or it's, it's within the working day, essentially. So the geographic reports, report number four, huge amount of information there that you can use to grow your channel. Let's move on now to the fifth report or metric that you wanna focus on, and that's playback locations. So it's right below the demographics here. You can click into that. And this is an interesting one again, and it, it determines and really shows you uh, where your videos are being viewed. So I can see here, again, can hold a little mouse over here. Uh, this is, this shows me that 99% of my videos are being viewed on the YouTube's individual video page on youtube.com or the app. So that's uh, not a big surprise for me. I haven't done a lot of promotion outside of YouTube, sharing videos on my website, etc. But some uh, YouTube channels might. They embed their videos on their blog posts and they get a lot of views from there. If that's the case, just continue to do that if that is working for you. Or you could think that, okay, well, we're getting a lot of views from the website, but hardly any views from YouTube itself. So we really need to optimize for that YouTube uh, search engine as an example. So playback locations, it's important to come in and understand that and make sure that you, it's as it should be or what could you continue doing to, to keep growing your channel. Let's move on now to the sixth report, audience retention. And uh, this is up here in the left sidebar once again. This is a huge one. This is a really, really important uh, thing to come in and study quite a lot. Now I can see that the average view duration for my videos is six minutes and 15 seconds. And if we stro scroll down here, I can see which videos get the most amount of audience retention. So I can see my top video really gets the most amount of uh, view duration. And if I click in, this is where it really starts to get interesting now. So I can see the video here and I can see actual timeline as well of where the drop off is. Now this is the big thing. I can see that after 25, let's say after a minute, about half of the audience who started watching this video are no longer watching this video. And this is not unusual. You can see it's a, it's a really sharp drop off, which is uh, hard just to kind of uh, internal, you know, take in the first time you see it, you say, oh my God, everybody's clicking out after less than a minute. But that's not unusual. Um, a lot of people click into websites and they click out straight away. The bounce rate, as it's known, is usually 50% or higher. So this is not unusual, but you do want to try and reduce this as much as possible because we remember, the more that you retain your audience, the more minutes that they are going to watch, which increases your watch time, which will help your channel and videos rank. So what are some of the strategies that you can use to retain your audience? Well, one great thing to do is to kind of do a video that is a like a list, the top 10 things. I know from watching videos myself, I wanna see what number 10 was, or I wanted to make sure I tick off, know what 789 was, etc. So doing a kind of a list video like that, the top 10, they do extremely well. They get a lot of retention because people want to follow through and watch all the way to the end. Another thing that you can do as well is you'll often see this in more the entertainment style videos on YouTube. People show a clip of something exciting that's coming up later on in the video and that encourages people to retain and keep watching. Another great strategy as well as if you're doing some type of design video is to show the design at the start and say by the end of this video you will have created 
this design and then get into it and that really hooks them in so you're looking for that hook and uh, it's it is important to uh, really have a look at which videos are retaining your uh, or which videos are retaining your audience now something to note actually and I just did this by accident but is once you select a video it will automatically show you every single report so if I you can see now that this retention report is just showing for this particular video if I want to see it again across all the the videos I can just uh, deselect that and then I'll see it for my channel again let's move on though and move on to the seventh report to look at in order to grow your YouTube channel and that is subscribers so subscribers is down here in the left hand side once again I can see that over the last 28 days I've gained 262 subscribers and lost 35 subscribers so not a lot of growth there happening on the channel I can see where the subscriptions are happening on the YouTube watch page that's on the page that people are watching the videos on and uh, really what I could do by looking at these analytics now is maybe encourage people more in my videos to subscribe I could say at the end of a video include that call to action to subscribe so you can be notified when the next helpful video comes out just even reminding people to subscribe can really help gain or increase your subscribers fast and remember why do you want subscribers because subscribers watch more of your videos than normal viewers so they increase that watch time they also get notified when you put a video out so uh, that helps build up those initial views and watch time that YouTube then picks up on and might start promoting your video and essentially they have take shown an interest in your channel your product or your service and really raise their hand and say I'm interested and really I'm a potential customer because they've subscribed to your channel so you do always want to be growing your subscribers and uh, you probably notice a lot of youtubers or channels talking about that because it is such an important metric and a sign to YouTube that your channel is interesting engaging and that they should help promote it okay so let's move on to the eighth um, report that we want to look at we're getting towards the end now and that is social shares so if we come down to sharing here we can really see a report here of the number of shares that our channel or videos have gotten total over the last 28 days so I can see here it's 152 and again for this particular channel this is something that I could probably improve on uh, I can see that the top video once again is getting most of the shares 82 percent but if I come down into sharing service I can really see where these shares are happening and actually copy to clipboard here interestingly enough is is how most people are sharing out my video so they're actually copying the link most likely on a phone and then pasting it into whatsapp or sending it by message and telling other people to check it out so that's actually pretty interesting for me to see that a lot of people are sharing via mobile now what that could tell me is maybe I should encourage people in my videos to do that I could say hey you know share this video with your friends through whatsapp or on your phone um, I could even myself share my videos more out across my other social media like Facebook or Twitter uh, which I haven't been doing and so that could help me get more watch time subscribers that way so as well as encouraging my audience to share this report could tell me that I need to share more of my videos as well now moving on to number nine we're almost at the end now and the next report you want to look at to grow your channel is comments so right above here let's have a look at the comments now we can see that there's been 31 comments over the last 28 days across these videos and again this is just like subscribers uh, it really shows that people are engaging with your channel if people are engaging with your channel or they're even commenting on your channel they're more likely to become subscribers if they're more likely to become subscribers they're more likely to become customers so it's kind of one rung down on that engagement uh, factor another cool thing about comments is that once people comment on your video I'll open this up maybe if I can or I'll even come to YouTube to show you guys uh, one cool thing about comments is if people comment below 
you can actually get a good look at their profile, for example, here. So I can see people's names, who they kind of are, what they look like. If I click in to them, I can see what videos they've liked, what subscriptions that they have. So this gives me a great insight into who my audience is, rather than just looking at the numbers and the demographics, which can be a bit hard to visualize sometimes. The comments are a great way just to get a, a clear picture of who your audience are. So that's why you can also encourage people to comment below, tell, ask them what their favorite part of the video was. Did they have any questions that they want you to, to answer in a future video? It's a great way just to increase those comments to get a better insight into who your audience are and what they want and also to give that engagement signal to YouTube. Now let's look at the final report that you can look at in order to grow your YouTube channel and that is the likes and dislikes. So coming up here again, we can look at this and very similar to comments and sharing and subscribers, this is just a great signal that you can send to YouTube that your videos are engaging and you can encourage your audience to do that as well. You can say, uh, you know, like the video below or a lot, thumbs up if you like the video and found it helpful. And you can see and measure that and really look at which of the videos are performing the best. Now you can have a look at maybe your top video and say, okay, did I ask people to like in that? Is that why it's getting so much likes? Or is it just because it's the most viewed? You could publish a new video and include that call to action to like the video and ultimately see did that work? How many likes did that actually get versus a video where you put no likes at all? And in fact, if you wanted to try and sum up all of these, especially likes, comments, subscribers, and sharing, a great kind of call to action phrase that you can use at the end of a video is something like this. You know, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos. Subscribe so you get notified when the next helpful video is out. And feel free to share this video with any of your friends if you think it will be helpful. So you can see that you can include a lot of call to actions there really at the end of every video to help drive all of these metrics. Show YouTube that your channel is being engaged. That will help then your video to be promoted in the search engine and suggested videos and ready to grow your channel. So now it's your turn. Come into the Creator Studio and analyze these 10 reports for yourself so you can get great ideas and insights about how to grow your YouTube channel.